unique stories that define our state's character. Here's Kevin Mackey with this week's Montana Moment. Brought to you by Montana Chevy Dealers. It's been a festive week for a whitefish woman who celebrated her 100th birthday. Her birthday party brought friends and family from all over the country. Dorothy Munt was the first woman in Montana and North Dakota to work as an immigration officer on the northern border. Kevin Mackey has our Montana moment. I was born in West Bay, Montana, two and a half months before I was uh, expected. I didn't weigh quite two pounds and uh, they didn't think I was living. And now I'm 100 years old. Dorothy Munt says she came to life when the doctor blew into her mouth. He was my incubator. It was probably 30 below. It was February 17th, 1924. The woman who would become the first woman immigration officer serving Montana's border with Canada was the oldest of five daughters. We'll have more on her immigration officer career a little later. But first, a little on Dorothy Anderson's background. Her dad was a farmer and coal miner in Westby. In her early years, the family traveled by horse and buggy or horse and sleigh. Cold, cold, but it's still home. It's still home. <laughs> Today, Dorothy lives at the Springs in Whitefish. At family celebrations, she's the center of attention. This is just part of my family. Governor Gianforte sent Dorothy a birthday card. Her birthday bash was the party of the season. I'm very, very happy. I still have my memory. That's one of the greatest advantages. She's known hard work since she was a kid. Helping to herd the cattle and to keep the chicken coop clean. That was one of the jobs I really hated. She says money was always tight. That time we didn't have money. Everybody bartered. She worked hard in school, graduating as salutatorian of her Westby High School class. She married a Westby man, a stateside soldier serving in World War II. Selmer Hammer came home on leave from Louisiana and asked Dorothy to marry him. He crawled down in a mine shack to get my dad's permission. They would move back to Montana where they raised their four children in Sunburst. Dorothy's career on the Montana-Canada border began in the 1960s. I was trained as an immigrant officer. From Sweetgrass to Raymond, Montana, I worked a detail in every single one of them. In those years, she encountered young American men who crossed into Canada to avoid the Vietnam War. She alerted agents if she saw drugs. We used to have cattle wrestler and horse wrestling, but then we started having cars come across with girls in the trunk. And, and that was sad. One morning, she discovered pieces of a car while she was on detail near Browning. A man who would be convicted of a brutal double murder in Montana had crashed through the gate into Canada. But it didn't take too long before they found him. They have a tough job. They earn everything that they get. After 22 and a half years, Dorothy retired from the border. Her son, Randy Hammer, is a retired border patrol agent. After Selmer died, Dorothy would marry Cyril Fitzpatrick, a sunburst farmer. They would in German. We went on cruises. Noticing there were a lot of older singles in the area, Dorothy's friend asked Dorothy if she would help start a singles club. She thought, why not? My youngest daughter came home and she said, Mom, what is a singles club? And I said, what do you know about it? And she said, well, at the post office, here's a big sign. See Dorothy about the singles club. <laughs> it was there. Show them the picture. Here's the singles club at the World's Fair. After Cyril died, Dorothy married Walter Munt, a widower. He and his wife we're very good friends. Dorothy and Walter were companions until his death. Dorothy advised her daughter, Diane, on marriage. Getting married and having children is great, but it's not your career. You need to have something else. You need to go to college, get a degree, and be able to support yourself if something happens and your husband isn't there. Dorothy is a joiner. At one time, I belonged to 
seven square dance groups. I asked Dorothy what the most important advancement was in her life. Electricity. If you think about it, Dorothy's 100 years has spanned Montana's entire northern border, from Westby in the east to Whitefish here in the west. My grandmother is a Montana moment. Dorothy's life is a rich story of Montana history. Kevin Mackey, NBC, Montana. If you want to watch this story again, or if you missed one of my previous stories, you can watch every Montana moment in a special segment on our website at NBCMontana.com.